Tesla Semi is finally going on sale and we have big news about Tesla Semi as Tesla Semi order books open in the United States. Prices and performance statistics are now revealed. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up, please. So order books have opened in the United States for the long awaited Tesla Semi electric truck. If you are prepared to put down a $20,000 deposit, here is what we know so far, friends, about Tesla Semi's opened order book. Interested buyers must put down $20,000 deposit to secure a place in the quay. Tesla has released um, pricing and information for its highly anticipated prime mover in two model grades. So the Tesla semi-electric uh, vehicle uh, truck, actually, semi-truck, has finally gone on sale in the United States and order books have opened. However, there is still no firm date for the start of the production of Tesla Semi. So one model is priced from $150,000 before on-road costs and has a claimed driving range of 300 miles. If you are in Europe, that's 482 kilometers per single charge. That doesn't seem a lot, right, for Tesla Semi. But well, if you are driving short distances and delivering things in short distances, 300 miles is great. The flagship variant is priced from $180,000 before on-road costs and has a claimed driving range of 500 miles. So is it worth to pay $30,000 and get 200 more miles? I think it's worth it, which is, if you are in Europe, 805 kilometers. So two versions of Tesla Semi, $150,000 version with 300 miles per single charge of range and $180,000 with 500 miles. Both models are powered by four electric motors that drive the rear wheels. Tesla claims the semi-electric rig can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds while hauling an 80,000 pound load, which is 36 tons. We are unsure how this performance compares to diesel can work, but if Tesla cares, uh, cars are a guide, this is likely more brisk than most semi trucks. Uh, truck. It should be more brisk because electric vehicles have uh, Im amazing torque. Now, photos released by Tesla show a recently centra actually centrally mounted seating position with two large information screens either side of the cabin, which also display images from the driver's blind spot thanks to two roof-mounted cameras, one on each side. It is unclear if the Tesla Semi will be sold in Australia, though a centrally mounted driver's seat could make it um, ambidextrous and open the vehicle up to both left and right hand drive countries. So it's now open only in the United States. We don't know if it's open in Europe or in Australia or uh, elsewhere. So we're going to wait for that. Um, well, let Tesla claims the semi's top speed up to 5% grade when loaded is 60 miles per hour, which is good. Uh, images show Tesla Semi will have LED headlights and advanced forward collision warning systems, as well as some form of blind zone monitoring, though exact details are yet to be disclosed about Tesla Semi. Tesla friends describes the semi-electric truck as the safest, most comfortable truck ever and delivers the lowest energy cost per mile. I have friends who drive uh, semi-trucks and I've asked them once, you know, would you buy an electric truck with such ranges? They have said yes, they have loved Tesla semi and they're looking forward to when they can order them. Now, a production date of Tesla semi is yet to be locked in, it's yet to be determined. Tesla previously said the semi would be on the road in 2019. Now, three years have passed and we should probably expect it at least in 2023 if they have ordered the books now and you can order your Tesla Semi. The latest forecast from Tesla is that it hopes to have its electric uh, Tesla Semi on US roads next year pending any further details. So let me know your thoughts on Tesla Semi, friends. I think it's great that Tesla Semi is going on sale and uh, I think also that now that Tesla has Gigafactory Texas up and running, by the way, see my previous report on Giga Texas, some latest images from yesterday morning and how many cars per day 
day Tesla is likely delivering from the Texas Gigafactory. Now, what I'm saying is that now that uh, Fremont is Fremont factory has added 10 to 20 percent capacity to kind of overcome the loss at Giga Shanghai, which Giga Shanghai was closed for a while. And now Tesla's uh, Giga factory in Austin up and running and the ramp is coming up. The battery factory is coming in shape and they're starting soon, soon to produce batteries. We should see more progress on Tesla Cybertruck and Tesla Semi. What are your thoughts on this? This is Armin Haryan from Torquins.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a blessed day and I'll see you soon in our next report.